what's going on everybody welcome back to another video um i was gonna have this video out earlier but i got freaking distracted and i would kept getting interrupted literally so yeah we're here to do week five picks um week four i went eight and eight so a very average mid week for predictions for week four so let's get in with it week five I was just live on the Sports Critic Amir's channel for like a couple, like three hours. So, yeah. So, we got Bills and the Texans. I think Bills bounced back in this game um, after being pretty much embarrassed by the Ravens last week. Um, Texans, like, they're a good team, but, like, they still don't, like, impress me this year. I don't know why. They haven't really impressed me this year, but they're still a good team, though. But I think Bills bounced back there. Going with the Colts to be the Jaguars. Jaguars the only winless team they suck man they're terrible joe flacco came in for the hurt um richardson last week joe flacco actually looked pretty good it's crazy um even if richardson starts give me the freaking colts because the jaguars suck and they fucking suck um ravens and Bengals. i'm gonna go with the ravens here um derrick henry and lamar they, they're playing better um i think it's gonna be a, another tough game for the Bengals, man like Bengals defense don't look that great this year besides like against the Chiefs. Burrow's been playing all right, but yeah, man, I don't know, man. I, I think it's a, I think it's going to be a long year for the Bengals, unfortunately for them. So I got the Ravens there. Um, Dolphins, Patriots, I'm going Patriots because every fucking quarterback in the Dolphins, Huntley, Thompson, Sch Skylar Thompson, T Tyler Huntley, dude, they fucking suck. And I, I trust Jacoby Brissett or Drake May, whoever they're fucking starting. Um, I, I trust the Patriots, man. Dolphins are... Poor Tua, poor Tua is out for a while. And then Tyreek Hill and freaking Waddle are fucking not even doing anything this year. Like, I, they, they're being wasted this year, basically. Um, each in, too, the running back. Got run the ball with each in. I'm going to go with the Patriots. Um, Raiders, Broncos. I'm going with the Raiders, unfortunately. I, the Broncos could win this damn game, though, because the Raiders, let's be real, the Raiders are not that good of a team. I mean, the Broncos and Raiders are basically the same team. Like, they're not even, like, the Raider, if the Raiders win this game, like, they're still not even that much better than us, literally. And I, I want to call it Ash Raider. Um, nothing personal, man, but when you said the Raiders' defense is better than the Broncos, I'm like, what? I'm sorry, man, but I, I strongly disagree with that take, um, you know, I, you know I like you, man. You're a cool guy. But, yeah, when you said that yesterday, I'm like, what? That was just an awful take, in my opinion. But Broncos defense been playing good this whole year. Shout out to Vance Joseph. I'm sure he'll have a good game plan against um, Minshew, Garden Minshew. Devontae Adams requested a trade. Like, it's a mess over there in Vegas. But I'm going Raiders just because of the fact that we, can, we have not beat them since December of 2019. Like, last time we beat them, we had Drew Locke as quarterback. I don't know, man. We always shoot ourselves in the foot, always fuck up against them. And I'm just going off history, man. Going off history. Shout out to Vincenzo Bondi for coming up. History. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but, yeah, I'm going with the Raiders. But the Broncos definitely are having a good chance, I feel like, at home. Wearing the, the, the fucking throwback jerseys. You know, love them. Hopefully we win, man. Hopefully we win. Go Broncos. And then I think this is a... Early ass game. I think it's at nine or ten in the morning. It's fucking early. I think London. I think I could be wrong. I think it's London game. Got Jets and the Vikings. I'm going the Vikings to stay undefeated. Um, Aaron Rodgers eh, don't look that great. Like last week against us Broncos, he's kind of banged up too. I don't know. I, I think the Vikings are gonna are gonna keep going undefeated, man. Browns and Washington. I'm going Washington, man. Jaden Daniels looks like the best rookie quarterback, and it's not even close. Um, Cleveland's just fucking terrible, man. They're probably gonna have another bad. They're gonna have a bad year. Deshaun Watson ain't it. They gotta get. They probably gotta get a quarterback in the draft next year. Um, Cowboys, Steelers, Sunday Night Football. I'm gonna go with the Steelers. Um, I don't know. Dallas, Dallas has a hard time stopping the run. Um, Najee Harris could give him trouble. Hell, even Justin Fields couldn't run the ball. I mean, I don't know. I think Dallas is going to struggle. Uh, Pittsburgh's got to fucking score, though. And, and Pittsburgh has a really good defense, so they could give Dak some trouble. But I'm going to go to Steelers. Monday Night Football, you got the Saints and Chiefs. I'm going to go to the Chiefs, unfortunately. I mean, Derek Carr and the Saints, like they, can, they, they proved this year they can put points on you, man. So 
Um, they could keep it close. They could keep it close to Kansas City. I think it will be a closer game than what people expect. But I'm going to go with Kansas City. The Chiefs do have a lot of injuries. You know, Rasheed Rice, Isaiah Pacheco. They're banged up. Kelsey had a better game last week. That's probably the best game of the year. So if you get going, it could be trouble for the Saints. But, yeah, I got the Chiefs winning there. Buccaneers, Falcons, Thursday night football. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. Um, they had a bad game with the Broncos. And the next week, they dropped 30 on the Eagles. Like, I think Bucs had just had, what, had a bad game against the Broncos. Broncos defense is one of the best. So that's why they had trouble against the Broncos. And then they dropped 30 on the Eagles like nothing. I, I think they beat Atlanta here on Thursday night football. Um, this is kind of a shit game, if you ask me. Panthers, Bears. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Bears, man, but I, I definitely could see the Panthers win this game because, I don't know, the, I don't really trust the Bears' offense that well. Andy Dalton could definitely go into Chicago and win this game, honestly, but kind of a trash bowl, if you ask me. Cardinals, Niners, and go with the Niners, man. The, the Cardinals got destroyed last week by Washington. I was not expecting that, man. I don't know. The Cardinals don't look that great. They lost, I think, two in a row now. Niners are the Niners. They're always going to be a solid team regardless, even with injuries. They have a lot of good depth in that team. Shanahan, like, even though Shanahan's a fucking fraud choker, but, you know, he's a good coach, but he's definitely the choker and fraud. But, yeah, I'm going with the Niners. Giants. And Seahawks going to Seahawks, man. They kept it close to Detroit for a good while there. Um, Malik, Malik Neighbors is fucking injured for the Giants. He's questionable play. I, I just think Seattle's just a better team at home, man, in Seattle. I don't see the Giants going to Seattle and winning. You got the Packers and Rams. I'm going to Packers. Um, Matthew Stafford didn't do well last week. I think he had a pick and a fumble. They're banged up. You know, Jordan Love and the Packers definitely... They, they almost came back in the Vikings there, but they, they started off slow. I think they're going to get going. I think Jordan Love was a little rusty. I think this game he definitely plays better, and he looks like his normal self. And I think the Packers win this game on the road. So there's my week five picks. And you got the you got Titans, Chargers, Lions, and Eagles on the bye week. So we got like two less games this week. We have 14 games instead of 16. So... Um, yeah, that is the week five picks. Last week I went eight and eight. So hopefully we have a better week five for picks. And until next time, guys, I am out. And I hope you guys have a good night. And we're out. Peace. Have a good one, guys. See ya.